Hello again, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to create and use automatic collections on Shopify with Liberty 5. So the first thing we're going to do is go over what a smart collection is and why you would need to use it. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and shine into our back end on Shopify, and we do this by just opening up a new tab, and I'm going to go ahead and type in my Shopify URL, and then we do a forward slash admin. Once our site has loaded up and our back end is up, let's go ahead and open up the products option to the left. And then we're going to go to collections. So what you'll see on my screen is a bunch of collections that have come over from Liberty 5. Typically, using automatic collections is considered an advanced method. Um, it is for stores that already have a pre-existing Shopify site and have already built their collections. Now, the difference between manual collections and automatic collections is that manual collections, you have to physically put in the inventory one by one. Um, with Liberty, we use manual collections, but Liberty's handling that. It's basically doing it automatic for you. So in the event that you've already created your collections, you more than likely would not want to use the Liberty 5 uh, second level category to push up your collections. You're going to want to use something like product type or product tags, which is what we're going to go over uh, in this video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an automatic collection. Uh, we click the create collection at the top right button here. And then we're going to go ahead and name our collection. So for this collection, I'm going to go ahead and name this shirts. Then I need to make sure that my collection type is set to automated. Next, we look under conditions and we set products must match any condition. And then from here, we can specify whether we want to use product tag or product type to pull in the items. So I'm going to go ahead and explain how we push over product types and how we push over product tags. So in Liberty, uh, let me go ahead and open up Liberty 5 right now. We'll go to setup categories and then category editor. In a general setup, your third level category is going to be your product type. So I'm going to go ahead and expand my department. Uh, we'll try women's apparel. Uh, we'll go ahead and use tops here. And then this will be our actual third level category structure. And uh, we're, all this will go over on Shopify as a product type. Now, just as a general knowledge point, all items that go over to Shopify must contain a product type. So in this particular case, and in general, uh, the product type is, again, the third level category. So with that being said, uh, if we get a list of all our third levels, we can actually create the automated collection so that it can pull in all those products based on that third level product type. So now I'm going to drop down the product tag here. Uh, I'm actually going to select product type, and we'll say is equal to, and we'll go ahead and type in a product type. So the cool thing is that with all the inventory that we push up, this is going to be a very long list of all the items that actually have product types pushed up. So you can preemptively create these automated collections. You can actually put in the product types, and then that way it's all automatic. You push up an item, it will just automatically take that item and pull it into this collection. So for this, I'm just going to type in t-shirt because I know that's one of my items in Liberty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another condition. And then we'll look at our list here and just see, well, what else do we have that can be pulled into this collection? So I know that I have a tank top. I can probably pull in dress top. I can pull in casual top. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, shirt. So let's go ahead and add those things in. So I'm going to go back into the Shopify center. We'll say uh, tank top. I'll add another condition. We had shirt. I'll add another one. Let's see what else we got. Casual top and dress top look like we can use those. And then finally dress top. So you would just continue to add all those uh, third level category items in here and uh, that would they would get pulled in. So the other option we have here uh, is we have the product tag 
And product tag can be your attributes, basically your Liberty attributes. So that includes brand, that includes size, that includes color. Any attribute you push up, you can actually use that to pull into a collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and not use my product tag here. And then I've just created my first uh, collection here. So what I'm gonna do here is we'll, we'll go ahead and save this. And let's see if any items get pulled in. And it looks like it pulled in a bunch of t-shirts that, that match that product type. So if I open up this t-shirt here, uh, we're gonna see where that product type goes. And this is the product type that we actually pull in. So because I set that collection to pull in t-shirt as a product type, it was able to pull this collection in. Apart from that, I didn't actually push up any tags on this item. There were no attributes, so I did not see color. I didn't see size or any of that stuff, so I wouldn't be able to use that. Now, to make sure that Liberty actually pushes up your third level as a product type, uh, what you have to do is you have to open up your listing manager. I'm just going to close out of this and open up listing manager, uh, top right corner button. And then we go to settings and then options. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Then we go to Shopify options. So the most important thing to have here is that the product type box here is checked. Now, if we uncheck that and then we check it, it'll give us a nice little description on what this actually is accomplishing. Furthermore, uh, we could push up the second level as an alternate category tag instead of a collection. So that way, instead of having Liberty push up these unusable collections, they actually go up as tags and you can pull them into those, those automatic collections that you created. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And just for the sake of you seeing how this gets pulled in, I'm going to go ahead and create an item and we'll show you what this looks like. So I'll open up an account. Add a piece of inventory here. I'll add a dress top. And for my title, just so that way we can differentiate this item, I'll make it something different. I'll go ahead and add something for brand here. Add a size and a color. All right, and then we'll, well, this is the price that we're going to be selling the item for. And then I'll leave everything else as is. So now I'm going to add an image to my item here. And we have to make sure that our web item checkmark box is checked. And then I'll save the item. This will either do one of two things, depending on how you're set up. This will either automatically list the item on Shopify or will require a web item entry person to uh, make additional changes, maybe if you want a more enhanced description. Now, I have my system set to automatically sync to Shopify, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Listing Manager now. And we'll see that this item is ready to go up rather than wait the five minutes for it to go up. I'm going to go ahead and sync it right now. So I'm going to open up the item. I'll uncheck the ready to list box. And this will allow me to sync the item now uh, by clicking the list now button. All right, now the item is on Shopify. So I'll go back to my listings. Uh, we'll go to the active tab. And here's that item on Shopify uh, under the active tab. So if I right click on this item and we go to view listing, I can see this item on Shopify as if I'm a customer. If we go to our Chrome browser here and then we go to collections, we can then go to our shirts automated collection, which is this one right here. And then let's go see if our item actually got synced. And here it is at the very top. This is a test Shopify item. So it did contain the correct product type that matched this criteria. And if we open up the item here, uh, we can look at some other things that we can pull in. So as we can see, we have our product type as dress top, which is one of the things that that collection was set to pull in. 
And then we also have these other tags that we can pull on. You got your brand, you got your size, and your color. So now if we go back to our collections, and we look at the shirts automated category, I can add another condition here. And then if I drop down the next product type and select product tag instead, uh, we should be able to see some of those other ones that we just added. So Lucky was one of them. Uh, you had green as well, and then you should see large in here as well. And there we go. So product tags can also be used to pull into a collection. The next thing you should focus on is creating your navigation so that's linked to all of your collections. The link to that video will be in the description. This was a video on how to create and use automated collections on Shopify with Liberty 5.